Hello there, YouTube. Welcome back to Aurora 4X, our lovely complicated Dwarf Fortress in Space style game, where right now we've managed to find out a, a precursor base. It is on this little asteroid over here marked asteroid number 33. Is it asteroid number 33? Yes, they're overlaid, so it's 33 here is the base. Now, we need to be able to take that base, prevent the enemy from resupplying there, because they're faster than us and we can't really chase them down. We could try and do some co sort of complicated surround where we just try and encircle them so they can't get away from us. But that would be time consuming and annoying. So I'm not going to. Uh, instead, what we need to do is we need to A, have a salvager so we can salvage all of these tasty, tasty vessels for their tasty, tasty tech. And, well, maybe not ours. We don't care about our vessel. Their vessels. And also we need to be able to dump troops on this planet so that we can take it over. Now, we are working on Dan Abnett here, which is our drop ships. They have their assault transports. I think they have like seven battalions each, which means that three of them can carry a full army group. However, it's currently being bocked by the produ production of that, which is going to take another year. So it's going to be about a year and a half till we can get this out. Well, more than that, because they're pretty big. It's going to be at least two years. So these are drop transports. They, they drop the, the troops straight into battle. They instantly deploy like, bam, there we go. Troops are down. Um, they're assault transports. We will probably make ourselves some civilian troop transports, which are going to be slow. They'll count civilians, so there's no real worry about them. Their idea is they shuttle troops around between places, uh, mostly garrison forces, etc. They won't be designed to go into a combat zone. If they do, it will be a relatively secure combat zone where we've already destroyed the vessels. We need to just reinforce an army. So we're going to design ourselves a troop transport. Now, however, we don't actually have the tech. Sadly, that is something we do not have yet. Um, we could research it. But right now we're using all of our research, including uh, our logistics ground combat, which I think is what we need for our troop transport bay. So we'll wait until you're done and then we'll do that. Another thing we need is salvaging. I'm just wondering, do we have the salvaging stuff already? It will be under logistics, my guess is. Salvage module 500. Do we have salvage module 750 then? We might have salvage module already. Ooh. Um, what do I need to look in for this? Not task group. Up here. Yes, right. Design ship. We haven't designed a salvage already. I'm nearly certain we haven't. Salvager, no, Salvager 500 is the first one. Okay, Salvager 750 is the second one. So we don't have a salvaging module yet, but we do need to get that. There's a lot of things we need to get. Let's uh, let's delete that ship. Bam. It's my flower. It's my flower ship. Uh, right. So we need to get ourselves a troop transport bay, and a salvage module. Salvage module's 5,000. That's that's sizable. It's going to take us half a year to do that. True transport is a little bit easier. Um, over here, you're doing relatively good. Do we want to increase the number of slipways for you, or do you want to let you just get? A, I think we want to get the size up to like thirty-two thousand tons on these before we actually add slipways. So, I think what we're going to do is accelerate time. But before we do. We have our fleet here that's currently over the asteroid defending it. We might be defending this asteroid for about a year so that the enemy can't resupply there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half the fleet and tell them to go home so they can refuel and resupply and reduce their maintenance time. Because right now they've been out for a third of a year. And then we have about a year or something in terms of endurance. So we're going to grab you. You. You, oh, whoops. Just grab two of the command cruisers. Grab one of the light leaders. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. All right, leave. Um, we don't actually need that many. We'll take maybe like two thirds of everything if we can. So we'll leave three of the light cruisers. We'll take two of the destroyer leaders and we'll take I will leave 
more destroyers, just because if they do fire burst of missiles at us, we'll want, you know, four destroyers there. If they have another place to refuel or resupply around here, they might well do. You can have more than one place to refuel and resupply in a system, so... I'm just wary of putting too many out. Uh, so we'll tell you to go for the soul jump point, go to Earth, uh, unload ordnance to colony, load ordnance from colony, refuel, resupply, and then we'll do a an overhaul. And do we still have space time bubble on? No, we do not. Excellent. All right, automatic, 30 days. What did we get stopped by? Imminent action. Might involve... There's probably an NPC here still that's blocking us. It's that one that ran away. We might have to kill them if we can't accelerate time. Yeah, okay. Gonna have to kill them. Right. You're not inside a missile envelope, are you? You're inside a missile envelope? They're inside... No, 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 you're, you're not inside a missile envelope, are you? Yeah, you are. I don't know how long you'll stay inside a missile envelope, though. Because you're, you're fast, right? Because if they don't stay inside the missile envelope, the missiles will just miss anyway. But... Let's bring up our intelligence report. What was their top speed? 8,000? They can only get about a 3,000 head start on us. If we start going directly at them with Crusade Force 2, our missiles might be able to close the range. Okay, uh, we are going to... Based on bubble system again. Go five seconds. I would like you to remove all contacts. Go directly towards that contact. As fast as possible. Move over a little bit. And then bring up the fire controls. Okay. They're only a thousand tons each, so we don't need to go, like, completely ham on them. But they have to get hit by these missiles, so I'm probably going to assign ten missiles each, which is overkill. But they need to die. If they do not slow down from these missiles, oh, they probably don't need ten. Eight, eight will do. Eight will do. Okay, so uh, I'm going to clear that. Assign eight. You've got the missiles assigned. I'm just make sure that. And then... Can you not get a lock on them? They're not appearing here as a target. Ah, they're too small to lock because they're fax. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, they're too small to lock because they're fax. Even though we can see them on our active sensor, we're going to need to have them really close in to be able to actually lock them. because the resolution cannot pick up the 1,000 ton fact until they're super close. I'm going to skip force 20 minutes and see what happens. They resupplied! Okay. Well, I knew that was a possibility. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be, but they have resupplied. That's annoying. I split my force, which means that we have uh, a little bit less defense now. Okay, we have our defenses set. Nonetheless, we'll try and predict where they're going to be. Let's do it. Let's see what the defenses hold.
Where's our event log? Are we not getting an event log? Involve MP. Okay. That's normally because they're firing extra missiles at us. Are they firing extra missiles at us? Uh, display. Show event. Oh, okay. And nine missiles, nine missiles, nine missiles. Dark quad, yeah, doing a really good job of it. Why are we headed that way? Should we be headed towards them? We are. Okay. Hi there. One of these asteroids. One of these asteroids is also another base. Is it like 38 or 39? Or maybe 51? We've got to be in firing range now, though. Still not in firing range. Okay, got active sensor contact. That's lovely. Right. Please tell me we have a lock. We do. They might try and ram us, that's my worry. Uh, they do do that. It's really fun. I don't think we're even gonna do synchronous fire. I'm gonna turn synchronous fire off. I'm just afraid that they will just straight up try and murder us. Uh, so. I'm going to clear. I'm going to have six missiles fire. I'm going to target. I'm going to copy, copy in task group. Assign. Open fire. Assign. Open fire. Assign. Open fire. Sign. Open fire. A sign. Open fire. A sign. Open fire. A sign. Open fire. And do we have like a spare? Yes, we do. Clear. A sign. A sign. Open fire. I think we've got to try and head away. Because they might actually be trying to ram us. Uh, run towards the jump point. Ah, oh, we wrecked them. We wrecked them easily. Right. I'm feeling they had more missiles, and I don't know from where, but we'll only know when we do a full survey of the system, because it's hard to tell. Uh, what we'll do, though, is we will celebrate by turning off our firing controls. Um, I would like to cease fire with current fleet. Assign all to you. And then copy in system. Okay. Well, that went well. I also want to do a flyby of 51 and 39, just in case. Then transit, go to Earth. 
And load ordnance, load ordnance, refuel, resupply, begin overhaul. But now I have even more wrecks to have a look at, which is always nice. Uh, we will turn off our space time bubble, put you on automatic, and we're going to do a 30 day skip. It's going to be a good skip. Okay, that's that's lovely. That's a lot of shore leave, but did anything else happen? No, just just shore leave. Uh, only four days, twelve hours happened though. Okay. Uh, well, I, I guess um, we're gonna go and research a few things until we can get our troop transport bays and our salvage bays. It's possible something might happen in the meantime, but uh, we're going to skip forwards now, so uh, I will catch you in a second. So, we managed to research our troop transport compartment, and I've just built a ship around it really quick off screen, because it's... It's really basic. It is literally one sea whiz, five engines that are really efficient that we already had, I didn't even make a new engine, and seven troop transport bays, and two cargo handling systems to be able to help get the people, you know out and they're in equipment out and on and so forth don't forget those that's it that's all it is i mean i i put an extra fuel stock that's that's the other note um yeah there's there's nothing really to the ship it's going to travel a little less than 2000 which isn't amazing but at the same time i don't really care all that much it's 32,000 tons and it's gonna be called the sanderson we're gonna name them after uh fantasy authors um it took me a long time to decide, and then I just gave up. I was like, you know what? Whatever. Uh, so we're going to do that. Right. We're going to lock you down. Boop. Close. Always be closing. And then... Ooh. You are accidentally up to 65,000 tons. Well, I didn't mean that to happen. My apologies. Uh, we're going to retool you for... Sanderson. Then I'm going to get you to Annex your Slipway. And then build a Sanderson. Sanderson 001. Done. And you, 65,000 tons is fine. Uh, just add a Slipway as well. Superior can get an extra Slipway going. Right. I believe we're currently researching... Uh, salvage vessels, which means it's probably going to end up doing those at Superior. I think that's only going to be done in January. So sal salvage uh, modules are going to be available in January. We're going to have to wait until May to be able to deploy them, because we're going to deploy them from here. But that should be fine. Now, when you have a salvage vessel, you often want to pair it with a cargo vessel, or you can build it to have a cargo hold attached. Honestly, just give it a give it a cargo vessel with it. It's it's worth the time. So, can we build some extra Ruons here? Okay, this is going to be fun. We're going to have to name all the Ruons again. going to be interesting. How long till we built the Sanderson, by the way? January. Okay, and how long till the ground units that I told to be built are assault infantry? May. So yeah, May next year is effectively when we're going to be able to go over and have a look at this planet. Uh, we should also try and get someone in the area, like a scout craft of some kind. Mm -hmm. uh, what am I looking for? Uh, Manage shipyards. Yes. Yeah, I've got no scout craft because we replaced them in the things with other stuff. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're probably going to have to cut again here, just because uh, I need the time for that to be built. And I'm also going to do some fiddling around with something. What was it going to be? 
there was something I wanted to do, and I'm literally like, ah, yes, I wanted to build more ruins, but I'm going to have to pull up the name list of our current ships and then go through what French cities do I not have? Because we also have the Paris class and stuff as well kicking around. So that's going to be... That's going to be a little bit of an annoying, long involved process. I'm somewhat regretting naming them like this. Because we have the Bordeaux, the Calais, the Lille, the Montpellier, the Nantes, the Nice, the Rouen, the Strasbourg, the Toulouse, the Lyon... Do we not have a Lyon? Oh, that's a weird Lille. Uh, Lyon, Marseille, Paris, Versailles. And we've got to come up with new cities for them. And uh, I will do so, but I'll do that off screen. And we'll come back when we next have an event happen. Hello! Okay, so uh, we have a corundium issue. As you can see here, we are projected to use over 4,700 corundium. And we have 83. It's causing issues right now that we can't actually produce as many ships as we want. So, we're going to have to find some more, and I know we've gone to Kvalent, and we are working on that, but the problem is that... That's not the right one. Kvalent is... Going to find Kvalent. Coronium. There we go. Uh, the problem is that we're still trying to work on this. We don't have everything that we want. We do have a lot of accessibility here to Corundium, but, again, different system. Still trying to set up the infrastructure. So, as a stopgap, we might try and do something with... Sol. There we go. Oh, it doesn't refresh, does it? No. Okay. Uh, Proteus. 23,000. Temple 1, 23,000. Or 24,000 almost. Also comes with some Duranium and Tritanium, if we so care. What I'm thinking is that we will probably start working on Temple and Proteus. So, I'm actually going to create a colony on Temple. And we might mine up Proteus as well. So Temple and Proteus. I'm going to have to refresh that, so... Bye-bye. Uh, Proteus and Temple. We should probably put down a team, just in case. Because we are going to be mining them, so we might as well check if there's anything extra there that we're missing. Uh, we'll unassigned only. Yes, 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 and yes. We'll create that team. And then temple. One, two, three, four. I will avoid Joe because you are useful. You can have Cunningham instead. Right. Temple's definitely the better choice here because it comes with other stuff. So we want to either ship a load of automated mines over, which I'm not particularly keen on, or we can send over some of our automated mining ships. Uh, if we have a quick look at shipyards on Earth, we are actually producing a couple of uh, Beijing class. I did actually just tell a couple to be built, just, you know, randomly. I was like, you know what? We probably will need a couple of these maybe to go to Kvalin. Let's let's build them. Looks like they're going to be more useful here. Um, well, they will be done May and June next year. Being delayed probably due to Corundium issues. Ah, don't like that. Don't like that at all. Okay. Um, we can redirect some of our existing ones. Because we have a couple who are just mining uh, at the outer reaches anyway. So I don't see why don't we not redirect them. Yeah. Right. Let's look. What are we currently mining? Oh, damn. Miles away. McNaught, Russell, and Brooks. I keep forgetting how far away they are. I don't really want to send my transports all the way to there. Do we have any... Because it, it'll take them so long to get to those locations. That's, that's my concern. It'll just take them so long to get there. Please tell me you've built up a stockpile of... Corundium. You do! You have 2,000 Corundium! We just don't have a mass driver. I'm okay with this. We just need to get the Corundium from Kvalin. Do we have a freighter sitting around who doesn't have a job? Soul freighters. You have jobs. Soul freighter 2. Hmm. We're currently carrying infrastructure. 
How much infrastructure do we have on Kavan? Because I might be able to tell them to stop that job. Ah, uh, I need to get up to 25 million. I would love it if I could insert something in the queue. You can't insert something in the queue, though. If I tried to tell them to go pick up minerals, bring it back, it'll add it to the end. So I think we will just remove all. Tell you go to Kvalen jump point. Kvalen A1. Unload your infrastructure. Then go to the moon. Uh, load all minerals. Solar jump point. Earth. Uh, and unload minerals. How long will that take you? 80 days. Ugh. Well, I guess for 80 days we're going to be in some trouble then with Cranium. Fine. And then once they've done that, they'll complain that they finished their orders and we'll just tell them to go back and deliver more infrastructure. Carry on my wayward son. We'll be... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, we finished our jump drive efficiency. I think I queued up... Yeah, mining production. So we'll have a bit more mining stuff. Nathan's getting old. We definitely need to try and get the best out of Nathan before they die. They can actually have 45 labs. We could we could sprint this. We could have it done so quick. It would be great. But the problem is I really want the subway module even at 10%. So... I've also told one of our research ships to finish off at Piffle and come back to Sol. Once it's done at Sol, uh, with its refuel, etc., it should head up to Liar and have a look around there, which will be interesting to see if we find anything else in that system. Uh, unrest is rising because no one's providing protection. We'll send them some troops over. Kvalin will be happy when they've got troops. I might go back to cutting some of this out. Uh, oh, hello. We built three more Ruin class, which is great, because I was going to send some of those with the um, salvage vessels when we have them. Uh, we also have gravitational sensor. Mine's been expanded. Medical problem currently unassigned to a scientist. Sure. One thing we will actually do while we're here is we will automate assignments for our military personnel. That means that we don't have to manually assign them. They should all just be assigned to our ships as is. It's not ideal. They're, they won't match them up perfectly with their roles, but they will assign crew, and I can't bother to go through all of our military ships individually. Right now, the game is probably like, right, I'm going to assign quadrillion different people. There we go. Everyone's getting assigned. Uh, because it's been promoted. Mineral shortage, Corundium. Okay, but things are still carrying on. Eventually, we will get to the point where we have uh, the ability to play around with that. I'm thinking that when they come back with the Corundium Hall from Kavalan, we'll send them out to... Temple One and whichever the other asteroid was, um, Proteus, with a couple of mass drivers. And just so that they can then put the mass drivers up on those planets, and then we can send stuff home from there, and we should be we should be good. But Cronium's still gonna be our issue for a little while until that is sorted. No oh, hello. Sulfur two completed orders. Oh. Uh research salvage module. Ooh. Okay. Sol Freighter. One, two, excellent. You're gonna complain when I do this, but would you like to pick up load mass driver? Uh, maximum up to load two. Then I want you to go to 
Temple 1. Unload Mass Driver. Can I get you to only unload one? There's no way to really... Is that unloading the one? I think it's unloading all mass drivers. You know, I can just remove that and unload all installations. Ah. All right. Unload all installations. Then load mass Oh, I can't load mass driver because it doesn't exist. No, no, I can't because it doesn't exist on the planet. Okay, well, let's see. We'll find out. I'm not actually sure if it will just unload one or two. I suspect it's two. But we'll unload Mass Driver, and then we'll just leave it blank. So it should ask, and then we'll tell it to go to Proteus. We also want to have a look at... Oh, we should probably get the other Ruins to join you when you get back so that you can transport more infrastructure. We've got Salvage Module. We've got another Biology Genetics person, which is pointless. Uh, right, we're going to do our salvage module stuff. So this is going to be a new ship. And this is... Oh, let's check the, the name list. This is a commercial capital. So it will be named after cities. Maybe we go with Australian cities. I don't know. Salvage modules. What, what would be a salvage module? Canada? Sweden? Russia? We haven't, we haven't got Russia. We could do Russia. I don't think we've got Russia. Uh, we'll open up a new sheet. And this is relatively easy. Again, it's another one of these salvage vessel things. You just strap a thing on the back, strap engines on the other side, and we're done. Or maybe the other way around. You want the engines on the back. Uh, salvage vessel. Salvage vessel. Salvage. 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 Salvager. There we go. And we will then immediately drop to the bottom of this list. And salvage module 500. Bear in mind that it's 10,000 tons. Um, your, salvage, your salvage vessels have a pretty large module on the front. So 10,000 tons is going to be a pretty hefty thing. And then we're going to want to stick on some nice efficient engines. One, two, three, four. What's the speed of our Ruan class? Because I want to kind of match that. 2,000, okay. Well, we're over 2,000 now. Like, that that, that could be it. That would be us done. Uh, we could make it an all-in-one. Give it, you know, a cargo hold and tell it to go to town. Hmm... Dutch cities? We could go with Dutch cities. Let's see. Dutch cities list. Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Hague, Maastricht, Utrecht, Leiden. Yeah, that that works. Uh, Twitch chat is suggesting the good things right now. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we need a cargo handling system because we don't actually have cargo, but I'm going to put one on just in case and we'll also put on a cargo hold and see like 43,000 is just too big yeah we can't do that we're gonna have to pay you up which is fine why are we so much slower now did I do something wait what did I just delete I deleted the cargo handling system not the cargo hold that was why I think I need a cargo handling system I think you only need that for cargo holds so gonna gonna go about And do we want anything else of this ship? Is there anything we're missing? I kind of think that might be it. Like if we add a sea whiz maybe, but other than that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to probably pair them up with 
Twitch chat are yelling at me. I've already said, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pair them up with freighters so that the freighters can take the cargo, and that way we can always switch out the cargos, etc. I've I've already stated that. I don't know why Twitch chat missed that. Um, we will consider the extra engine because we could always like the next time we get an upgrade. The next time we get an upgrade to our to our engines, we might not need to change these, but the freighters could upgrade, and that way we could have a faster freighter to go with this. I said that is a bit too much engine. Apparently, according to Twitch chat, they say that you must have a cargo compartment. I've never bumped into that before. I've done it before without them, I swear. But it might be that you need, like, at least a minimum of a small cargo compartment. Because it will offload them into freighters. So I don't really care so much. I'm just making sure that one, we just include, like, a small one. Because it, it will offload them into freighters. Uh, and we'll add one more engine again, because I've increased the mass there. There we go. So we've got a small cargo hold. Um, cargo handling system, salvage module, five engines, Sea Whiz, comes in under 30,000 tons, and we're going to name this the Amsterdam class. So we're going to uh, rename to the Amsterdam. Won't you put on that red line? And we're going to lock the design in. And close that up. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to wait until May. Yeah, 8th of May before we can actually assign it to here. And then we can produce two at a time. And we're going to be way over capacity. We could even... we could. How long will it take to retool you? Until March. We could retool at the Washington shipyard at the Ness. Because we don't need any more fuel harvesters for a little while. And when we do, we'll probably make it even bigger. Or hell, we might make an old habitat that does the fuel harvesting. So I think the fuel harvesting that we've got at the moment is kind of going out of date. I will maybe get two more to be built. And then retool. But I'm just going to retool. Retool for the salvage vessel Amsterdam. Do it. And that'll take until the 7th of March. Close that up. Uh, I'm Twitch is now telling me there has to be cargo hold in the task group. Savage doesn't need it, which is exactly what I thought. But it doesn't hurt to have a small cargo hold. It's just excessive, uh, considering we're going to pair them anyway. A small cargo hold will hold very few ship components. FYI, if you're wondering, uh, when you salvage vessels, you get minerals, you get tech, you get their components, which you can then try and assemble for tech. Uh, the components can be quite large, so bear that in mind. Uh, we've completed our recent salvage module. Would we Have we reassigned you? No. Um, could put you on the minor mining production, but I, I don't really care. I think instead we will go for... You know what? We're going to work on Heavy Assault Battalion. It's going to take a while. We December when that's done. The Heavy Assault Battalion is basically like your big mechs and armored suits. They are badass. They are huge, and uh, they are they are the most powerful ground force I think in the game. I'm not certain of that. There might be a higher tier one that I don't know of, but in general they are very powerful. They are armored units though, uh, and they are what we will be grabbing. You low tech armor. We haven't upgraded them. Because we can't. We don't have any armor to upgrade them to. You have to upgrade armor to armor, infantry to infantry. So now we're going to be getting armor. I want to take the opportunity to convert to cadre for all of my armor. Only low tech divisions can be... But you are low tech. Why are you complaining at me, gamer? Why are you complaining at me? 17th low tech armor. Why? Why? But you are low tech. That literally stands for low tech armor. Low tech armor. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna close and reopen that. You will encounter some interesting things. Normally it can be fixed by closing or opening. There we go. Strange. Strange world. Uh, okay. Right. With that, I think we're good. We're going to have to try and get our salvages out in March. Um, start producing them. That'll take a little while. Send them to Liara. Have a look at what those precursors had. I'm also looking forward to trying to see what they had on that planet when we can actually send our troops there. Because once we see what they have, there might be something useful. There might be enemies we need to kill. Uh, but they might also have stockpiles of missiles, which are high-tech and better than ours. And if they do, I want them. Really want them. Uh, but for now, I'm going to call it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked, do the whole liking and subscribing thing that YouTube makes you do for sometimes no reason. Uh, and until next time, stay shiny.